All right, finally, we've got uh, uh, another kick we call the MLB. So we've got the NBA kick, which is, uh, we named it that because a lot of times there's a high bounce off of it. The MLB, which is, it looks very similar to the way where you put the ball on the tee, like a normal onside, we'll put it in the middle of the field, and uh, we strike the ball again where the stripe would come around, and we'll show you that in just a second with our kicker uh, and, and, and him actually live in action doing that. And we kick it, it's a directional kick towards the side, and it goes nice and slow end over end. Sometimes we get the high bounce, sometimes we don't. We call it the MLB, it's a slower version of the NBA, and if you're a Major League Baseball fan like I am, it's slow enough game where you can sit around and watch it for a second before there's any action, which is exactly what happens on this kick. So we're usually down there waiting on it, and we're gonna show you videos of recovering this kick four times against the same team, and uh, uh, let's go to the video of the foot actually striking the ball. Next up is our, what we call the MLB, you know, and I told you uh, when we were outdoors about the NBA kick and the MLB is a slower version of that. What our goal here is the end overhead. We would like a high hop, but it's kind of a cross really between NBA and jelly. We want the ball down here slowly enough for our guys to be down here when it gets down here. So nice, slow, wide side kick to give our guys time. Their guy goes up to make a play and just comes down and drops it. We didn't really do much except for we're there to make him uh, be a little bit scared and not field it cleanly. And then we're there to scramble around have a chance to get the football. Here's another one. Same thing. Up in the air. Notice the guys we've got lined up ready to catch the football. They've just got to simply find it. Close up of it right here. This is just almost like your traditional, but just not a very hard kick, nice and soft. We're down there waiting, running 10 yards before the ball gets down there, and it's a game changer. I know what you're thinking. These all look like the same kick against the same team. I think we got four against this team, and if you get four, you're going to win. They turn out a little bit differently uh, every time, but again, the MLB is just your end over end, normal onside from the hash. We get lucky, get a couple good hops on the second bounce right here. Kid gets his hand on it, tips it up, and then you've got we've got a guy running the sideline that uh, is looking for those kinds of things. We've got another guy that's looking for ricochets straight back towards us. Another guy running the sideline looking for that type of stuff. And then there's the there's the fourth one, I guess, against that same team. So and they do, they all look so similar because of the place and where they're at on the field. There's another high hop. Notice all of us waiting right there. And then it's just go up and get the ball, and it's a 50-50 ball. Uh, these, like, and I can't say it enough, these on, onside kicks, if you're willing to give up a little bit of field position, they literally change the game in uh, what you're doing and, and, and your chances to win. And you, you'll start thinking of other things and other facets of the game that you can do to make football different, but make it uh, in your favor, so to speak.